so today we're going to do the second rule of derivatives, which is called the power rule. This is the most commonly used rule in calculus, and this is dealing with a function that has x to any rational power. So the n has to be a rational number. It can be a fraction, it can be a decimal, it can be negative or positive. The rule is, if you're trying to take the derivative of x to a power, you bring the power out front. So this power, this power literally jumps in front and becomes the coefficient. And then you take x to a power one less than whatever the original power was. So from a very simplistic standpoint, if we just have x to the fourth, then my derivative the 4 comes in front, becomes the coefficient, and then you take x to the third power. Which, if you think about what we did over the last few days with all the x plus delta x, which would have taken us 10, 20 minutes, this can be done in seconds. Now, it also works with functions that have radicals, because let's say it was a fourth root, then you have to understand that that's the same as the one-fourth power. Radical notation is not very helpful to us, but rational exponent notation is ideal, because now we can take the derivative by bringing the power out front, power one less, one less than one fourth is negative three fourths, and keep in mind that we don't want to leave our answers with negative exponents, so we're going to rewrite our final answer in this form, where you have one over and then everything else in the denominator, four x to the three fourths power. It also works with something like this when you have an x to the bottom, so let's say it's x to the sixth power in the bottom. Just like we mentioned up here with these exponents, we want to rewrite it with negative exponents. So our derivative, power of front, power one less, gets one less, negative seventh power, and again, we rewrite it like that. Now, a common mistake is to, when you say power one less, to automatically go to like the fifth, but keep in mind when you're negative, you want to go more negative, and that's why you end up negative seven. So that is our power rule, and that's the rule that you'll use over and over again in this class.